actually just got out of a Zoom meeting with Tina Price at CTN, and I'm very excited about our upcoming workshop. We're actually calling it a visual development program. It's a 14-week program uh, that's largely about developing one's voice, not necessarily one's style, because that can be project-specific, but one's flair, one's personal voice, that thumbprint that's so uniquely you, that's a product of your worldviews and your metaphysical values and your cultural background, and so many things that are intangible. I've really seen voice click. I've taught this class for many years at Art Center. I've taught at Art Center for 20 years and basically founded their entertainment track. But I've taught visual development for a good, I don't know, 12 of those 20 years. And the results have been amazing. The beauty of it is just really seeing people take their foundational skills, light logic, color theory, perspective, composition, all of those things, and finally having them click in their upper terms and connecting all those skills with something to say in the world. And that's the beauty of this class. So basically we're taking an intellectual property, usually a children's classic at Art Center, but we've got a kind of new intellectual property that we're premiering. And, um, bringing it to life visually, creating all the assets needed for either a 2D or a 3D, we're very open on that, feature animated film. I am very much kind of retooling it for CTN because it's going to be a hybrid event. So if you can't uh, be in the room, it is a live event at the CTN studio. But for those who can't be there or who just want to tune in for some inspiration, there's an online version. So we're calling it a hybrid event where everything is live, but we're streaming it also for those who can't be in attendance. And it is, of course, open to uh, the entire planet. For greener artists who haven't really found their voice and really need a great opportunity to take all their academic skills and finally put them to use and have their sort of personal flair kick into high gear. It's for industry professionals who might have been in, out there for a while. This happens all the time but they don't really have a structured environment in which to create, to continue learning and growing and developing that voice. So we all know there's gaps in our portfolios and we might need an asset here or an asset there. We might, we might need a prop design or a character design or an environment asset or even a billboard or a mat, but we often don't get to that. We don't get to filling those gaps unless we have a structured environment in which to do that. So couldn't be more excited about it and creating the intimate community that we had at Art Center. It was my favorite class to teach at Art Center because it felt very safe. It was a very safe place in which uh, students could find their voices and take risks and break new ground in their work. So please join us. Feel free to share this video with anyone who you think might need an opportunity to just create more portfolio content, who might need an opportunity or a structured environment in which to continue to develop your voice, or maybe a greener artist who is still finding that voice in the first place.
Hi guys. I wanted to quickly give you my review of our class. Uh, two weeks ago was final presentations, uh, week 14 of a 14 week program. And I uh, could not be more pleased. So I want to start by saying my hat is off to anyone who, you know, is out there working in the field, which a lot of you are, or just otherwise fulfilling life's obligations, who takes the time, you know, carves out the time actually to not only nurture your craft or to practice your craft, but to continue developing your voice. So you're developing a skill set, you might be creating assets for your portfolio, but more importantly, you're continuing to nurture your voice. So hats off to you. Thank you for your hearty participation. Uh, it's, it's a rarity, I'll be honest. You know, a lot of you know the bulk of my teaching career is at my alma mater, Art Center College of Design. Well, when you teach in a degree program that's very regimented, but also where they're, you know, mortgaging their houses to afford the education, they do deliver. But I never have that expectation when I teach pretty much anywhere else. And again, I've taught at Laguna Art Institute, Montecito Fine Arts, LA Academy of Figurative Art, a lot of different cultures, even online at CG Academy, never ever expect people to deliver. Uh, it's kind of used as a sampler platter and they come and go and they take what they choose. I've been pretty blessed uh, in my teaching to see major results. And um, I try to hit all the different modes of learning. So in a crit structured class like ours, what do you have? You have crit, which can be more of a discussion, of course, with everybody involved, but crit, lecture, demo, in-class exercise. So thankfully, you know, when you vacillate between all those different learning modes, you're hitting all the different types of learners, right? So. I do think it's really valuable, even though God knows we can go online these days and just cobble together an education by finding technique demos and even going on forums and chat rooms. You can get the information you might need or want, but there's something to be said for really committing to a program and having faith that there's method to the madness and not only receiving the content, but applying it. So we all know learning and knowledge is completely theoretical until you've actually applied it. And in this case, that means putting pen to paper. So I, I really respect you for enrolling in a program, program, committing to it, and then actually not only just listening to the content, but actually applying it. Only that way over the course of time, you know, if a curriculum is designed well, will the content land ultimately. So thank you for taking it seriously. Thank you for sinking your teeth into the stories and finding the love in the project. I think that's exactly what finding voice is. Um, not only relating to the content and finding what's universal in it, but actually applying it to your own life. I heard a great quote recently that said, basically, counterintuitively, the more personal and authentic you can make your content, the more universally it lands. So I think we did exactly that. And um, I really thank you for, again, your enthusiasm, your participation, but really sinking your teeth in and finding the love in the project. I mean, isn't it fun to see all the different interpretations that come out, complete worldviews and uh, just entire worlds that come out of people based on their worldview and their sensibilities and their sense of aesthetics. It's pretty fascinating to see a single intellectual property interpreted in so many different ways. So thank you so much. And uh, I, I love above all else that, you know, stepping out of the pandemic, it was a bit awkward for all of us to just kind of re-engage in life. And so I love that we bonded, created a safe space in which to not only nurture the creative process, but our artistic journeys at large, and just to do what we love, which is storytelling. So I'm gonna miss you guys. I hope you all stay in touch and I hope you stay in touch with one another because you found it a really great peer group and it's a really great resource for um, feedback and just support and inspiration. So there may be a part two, stay tuned. I do hope to see you all again. Uh, CTN and I both feel very strongly that this format is kind of the future, you know, um, short of again, paying these exorbitant tuition fees I think you're very wise and CTN is really a wonderful gift to artists in that way. So we're going to do more of this hybrid content and I hope to see you. All right. Thanks again. Take care.